let's talk about the price differences between Belarus, in particular Minsk, and Australia, thinking about the bigger cities in Australia, because some of the prices are actually pretty similar, but then some are very, very different. So, for example, rents. Rents here in Minsk now are really cheap. Uh, my apartment here, I pay 400 US per month, and that includes all the bills, uh, also includes uh, the furniture as well. If I wanted to get that in my city of Melbourne, I would have to pay at least 1,600. In fact, maybe even as much as 2,000. Depends exactly where it is and what amenities are included. So rents are about four or five times higher in Australia. Now, I'm just on the way to Sicily. I'm going to go through some of the stuff in the supermarket. In the meantime, I'll discuss some other things. So, for example, here in Belarus, my telephone contract is 14 rubles. Just gone up now to 14 rubles per month. Uh, in Australia, for the same thing, it would be around 50 rubles, maybe a bit more. Depends who you go with, 50, 60 rubles for the same thing. So about four times as expensive. Transport. Transport's really cheap here in Minsk. The metro, uh, I think it's just got up to 90 cop now. It was, I think it was 80, gone up to 90 just in the last couple of weeks. Uh, that gives you uh, an unlimited run, one unlimited run. In Australia, if you want the same thing, It'll cost you around eight or nine rubles. You can't get the exact same thing, but you can get a two-hour ticket. So you have a two-hour unlimited use for about eight or nine rubles or for the full-day unlimited usage for around 17 rubles. Then we have taxis. So the index is here in Belarus. You can get anywhere for about 10 rubles, maybe a bit more on peak time, but let's just say 10 rubles. The same distance in Australia, in an Uber, or we have a few different brands, Bolt and so forth, would probably cost around 35 rubles, so around three and a half times more uh, in Australia. Let's have a sneaky look in the kebab store here. You can see here on the kebab. A small one there is around eight rubles. So in Australia, for the same thing, you'd pay around maybe 18 or 20 rubles for a basic Donna kebab. Let's go into Sicily now and go through some basic items and compare them to uh, prices in Australia. All right, Marajano ice cream. Hmm, let's pick one. All right, so we got these ones here at two fifty nine for a cone. Oh, in Australia, maybe double, maybe five. Maybe five rubles, maybe six rubles for that in Australia. Let's pick a uh, Kit Kat Duo. This is a big one. How much is this? That's a lot. So this is 1.89. In Australia, maybe three and a half. So about double. Both those things would be about double uh, in Australia. Let's look at some fresh produce. Now, of course, it always depends on the season for things. This is very important. Let's look at some zucchini. These would be maybe a bit cheaper. Maybe seven or eight rubles uh, in Australia. Chili, yeah, that might be double that. Maybe 35 or 40 rubles uh, in Australia. So uh, mushrooms here. This is uh, eight rubles for a kilo in Australia, I think. Maybe three times that, around 25 rubles for uh, mushrooms. Tomatoes here, oh, there's so many prices. All right, so look at about five or six rubles, about the same in Australia, maybe a little bit more, maybe six or seven, but pretty similar, actually. Uh, we've got what we would call cucumbers here. Uh, oh, wow, they're so cheap today. Oh, they're less than three rubles. Amazing. Uh, I think in Australia, maybe six or seven rubles for those. Let's look at something entirely different. Oh, pineapple. All right, so canned pineapple, quite expensive here. I think it's imported. So that must be, uh, I think, a bit cheaper in Australia. Maybe only four or five rubles for the same thing, actually. Let's look at some beer. Oh, wow, this beer is so cheap. So this is for one litre is 2.15. I think this in Australia will cost you around, oh, I don't even know, maybe 15. It's the same as three bottles at 10. Yeah, about 15. So beer here is cheap. We tax beer and cigarettes a lot in Australia. I know you can get a pack of cigarettes here for about two rubles. In Australia, it's more like 100 rubles or 
80 rubles. Let's look at some chips. All right, we've got about 100 grams, 140 grams. Uh, similar in Australia, I think, four. Yeah, maybe a little bit, maybe five rubles. Pretty similar for those uh, fried Kartoski three. One thing that's a lot cheaper here is Tvorag. So cottage cheese here, around $3 now. There seems to be some kind of Tvorag shortage at the moment. It's around three rubles, sorry, for a 350 gram pack. In Australia, that would be oh, a lot more. <laughs> Probably 20, 25 rubles, actually. Uh, I don't think we make a lot of it ourselves. So it's a cost. Let's look at some toothpaste, some Colgate. So this, the most fancy one. Uh, in Australia, I think even cheaper. May, oh, about the same, maybe the same in Australia, similar price. So what I take from this, this is very expensive for you guys, and I wouldn't buy this here. Uh, I think it's really a ripoff. Uh, anything that's close to Australian prices, I think, is just a rip-off uh, in this country and probably look elsewhere. We've got some eggs. So eggs are around 290. These are fairly small. These are size one. So seeds that are a bit older, size one, so they're just kind of medium size. Uh, in Australia, I think this would be maybe around nine rubles. So quite a bit more. But in Australia, we buy them as 12, not as 10. But still, eight or nine rubles. So you can see quite, quite a difference there. Triple the price for eggs. Let's look at some chicken. Chicken breast here, 10 rubles. Uh, in Australia, maybe 20 to 30, depending how big they are, how they're made and whatever. 20 to 30 rubles per kilo in Australia. Move on a little bit. Let's see some fish. Now, we don't have a lot of this stuff. We don't have this kind of smoked and aged fish. We don't have this in Australia. We only have fresh fish, so it's difficult to compare. But I know there is some salmon here. So let's have a quick look at some salmon. We can make a comparison. So salmon here, we've got 200 grams for about 15 rubles. Let me do the maths in my head. Oh, similar to Australia, I think. Similar price uh, per kilo on this. Uh, we don't have any palmini in Australia, so I can't tell you the price. Let's look at some breads and donuts and stuff. Uh, something kind of, uh, okay, something like this. This would cost around, so this is 1.7 here. Uh, I'd say in Australia, four or five times that. I would say seven or eight rubles for this same kind of bread. Similar situation here. Uh, some of these pita wraps here, these might cost maybe for one of these, although there's 10 inside to me. So here it's about 250. Uh, I'd say in Australia, maybe uh, not much more than that, maybe three or four uh, rubles. If you want to go to the gym in Minsk, it's pretty expensive. I think it's around uh, 80 rubles per month. Depends where you're going and that kind of stuff, but about 80 rubles. I think in Australia, it's maybe 100, maybe 120. Uh, rubles per month. So the price difference there is actually not that different. Now, as you can see, I'm holding my phone, which is really unfortunate because I lost my cool tripod selfie stick in India. I left it somewhere. I don't know what, but it's gone now. So I ordered a new one off Wildberry and uh, Wildberries. And I think that it's about half the price that I paid. So I paid about 26 uh, rubles. And back in Australia, I think I paid around maybe 55 or 60 rubles for pretty much the same thing. Haircuts. So a haircut here for a man, uh, well, it was uh, Vosim Rubli, such as uh, Devit Rubli, Potomosa Sanksi, etc. So that's gone up a little bit. It's only nine rubles. In Australia, Mojit Bit. Uh, I think the cheapest would be 30. Cheapest would be 30. Esli Hochu, Esli Hochish, Babr, Mojit Bit, Vosim Sat Rubli, something like this. So uh, the haircut's quite a bit different. So anything that involves labor is, or people, uh, tends to be a lot more expensive uh, in Australia and the prices are a lot. Uh, different compared to Minsk. Overall, I think that the price difference is about two and a half times on average. So on average, whatever you pay in Minsk will be about two and a half times 
more expensive in Australia. But as I've just shown you, there's a lot of variation there. There's a lot of variation. Cigarettes are probably 50 times more expensive in Australia, whereas uh, some things are very similar price. You just saw in the supermarket there that some of the food items are pretty much the same price. Also, what I find very interesting is the price of the Kino Teatro uh, Ili Ballet. So, uh, is this Feminsky Ballet? Uh, it be Trisat, Trisat Rublev. Uh, Australia, it be Dvesti Piazzat Rubli. About 10 times more. So, about 30 rubles. Uh, for a good seat in the Bolshoi Theatre here for ballet in Australia, more like 250 rubles, actually maybe even more, maybe 300 rubles. So big difference there. Whereas the Kino Theatre uh, is there, Fidana Mole, at Dvasat Rubli. Whereas in Australia, maybe uh, 40, Sorok, Sorok Piat, something like this, Rubli. So only about double. So the Kino Theatre in Australia is not seen as very good. It's just something to do. Whereas a ballet is seen as a very elite, really cool thing and a very expensive thing to do.